Hi guys, this is Mr. Miller. Uh, we're going to make a truss bridge in this video. Uh, before we get started though, just want to say a couple of facts about truss bridges and go through the process of drawing a bridge. So truss bridge is a form of a beam bridge. Uh, it's defined by trusses, which are connected beams uh, that typically take the form of uh, triangles. And so the, the pros of a truss bridge, we have, they tend to be very high strength. We've already seen this in demos in class. Uh, they can go longer spans than beam bridges. They tend to be fairly economical. Uh, and the cons are that they tend to be a little bit more high maintenance. There's a lot more material there typically than a beam bridge. Uh, they can take up a lot of space because you have to go up and down vertically some and they tend to be relatively heavy. Of course, uh, all of these are relative if you were to consider you know, arch bridges versus suspension bridges versus truss versus beam. Uh, there's certainly pros and cons for each, and the objective of the designer is to figure out you know, what fits their situation the best. So that makes it kind of fun. All right, but let's go ahead and just draw a um, truss bridge. In this case, we need to make sure we hit our design requirements. And so we have eight inches long, three inches wide, uh, 2.5 inch legs, four of them, a 1 16th inch thick deck, and a max height, a maximum height of seven inches. Okay, so trusses, truss bridges are typically made of um, triangles. And so let's start with drawing some triangles. All right, so I'm gonna cheat a little bit and use some software to help me. Um, but what I'd like here is four triangles, because I think that would be a nice way to break up eight inches into a repeatable unit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add a top beam, and then make sure that we have our legs. And again, our overall dimensions are eight inches long, and then we're gonna have three inches wide, okay? And our 2.5 inch legs. So let's go ahead and make that in Tinkercad right now. We're in Tinkercad now, so let's go ahead and create our truss bridge. So click on create new design. All right, now they're in, let's start as usual by changing edit grid in the bottom right hand corner, make it, set it to inches. Then we're gonna set the width to eight inches and the length to three inches to match the overall dimensions of our final products. After you've done that, we're not gonna start with the legs of the bridge, we're gonna start with these triangles. So find the roof tool, go ahead and click and drag it to the bottom left hand corner of your work plane. Then let's rotate to see what we're dealing with. All right, we know that overall we want the, we want four triangles and the length of our bridge is eight inches. So we want two inch triangles. So go ahead and change this to two inches. Then we're going to change the depth of this to a quarter of an inch, 0 0.25. And then we are going to change the height to two inches. All right, after we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and duplicate this triangle to cut, to create a second triangle we're gonna use to cut a hole into this first triangle. So go ahead and click on duplicate in the upper left-hand corner while you have this triangle selected. After you've done that, we're gonna change some dimensions. So we're gonna make this 1.5 inches. Then we're going to change the width by clicking on this black dot right here. We're gonna make that 1.5 inches as well. Why 1.5 inches? Well, we wanna have a quarter inch of, a quarter inch of extra room on either side so that our truss has some thickness to it and provides some stability. All right, after we've done that, go ahead and we're going to what I just did was I changed the overall width of this uh, a little bit. It's not a quarter of an inch anymore. Why did I do that? Uh, so we can tell when it's cut through the 
bigger triangle because we're using this one to create a hole in our original triangle. All right, now that I have these two triangles, I'm going to select both of them and then do a line. Make sure it's aligned in the center. After I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and drag the center triangle up by an eighth of an inch. Okay, uh, I'm going to click on the center tri triangle again. I'm going to click hole. Then I'm going to group these together, and we're going to see that, in fact, now I have what looks like a truss. Okay, so next thing to do is we're going to duplicate this four times. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and make sure those are aligned. Perfect, they're already aligned. That's good news. We're going to group them. Let's change their color so we know that they're grouped. Then we're going to duplicate this to create our second set of triangles. Let's go ahead and make sure those are aligned. Yep, they are already aligned this way. Perfect. All right, let's group them so we don't have to worry about them going forward. All right, next thing we're going to do, we're going to put a beam over the top of our bridge and a beam over the bottom to provide some extra support. So let's go ahead and first step, we're going to raise this up by a quarter of an inch. Let's see, a quarter of an inch. Then we're going to go ahead and use this box tool. We're going to create a quarter inch box. That's a quarter of an inch by a quarter of an inch wide. Okay. All right, and then we're gonna do a quarter inch in height. Perfect. So let's go ahead and put that underneath our triangles, and then we're just going to drag this over to go along the entire base. So make sure to grab, select the black box and not one of the white ones. The white ones will change more than one dimension at once, which we don't want. All right, let's go ahead and make sure those are aligned. Yep, it's already aligned, perfect. Sometimes we get lucky. Let's go ahead and duplicate this. With the duplicate, drag that upwards. And we can see quickly that it is much too long. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and shorten it. Click on the black dot. You might have to rotate your model a little bit to do so. All right, I shortened it a little bit. Let's do that to the other side. As you can see, Tinkercad can sometimes be tough to deal with, but we are getting there. All right, after we've done that, let's just make, let's do one final check um, and make sure that these two are aligned, our triangles and our top beam. Yep, looks like they're aligned in the left-hand corner. Then we're going to go ahead and just group all of this, select everything, group it. Now we've got one truss, cool. Okay, that's one side of our bridge. The next thing that we're gonna do is create a second. Let's duplicate that. All right, so I press duplicate in the upper right-hand corner. Now we have two portions of our bridge. Let's go ahead and align those. Center align, perfect, and Yep, looks good to go. Okay, it's aligned to the edges of our work plane and they're aligned in the center, so we're just gonna go ahead and group those so we don't have to think about it again. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we are going to add the base of our bridge. So let's add those legs, drag in a box. We're gonna set it to a quarter of an inch by a quarter of an inch by 2.5 inches as we've done in the past. All right, and then 2.5 inches. Perfect, let's go ahead and duplicate that four times. There we go, let's make sure those two are aligned. Yep, already aligned on the edges, perfect. And we're gonna go ahead and group those two. Let's give them a different color than everything else. Let's duplicate these and drag them over. 
right, not quite aligned yet. I'm going to check their alignment. Yep, they look good. They're already aligned. Perfect. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the deck of the bridge after we have grouped all of these. So I went ahead and grouped all the legs. Let's Going a little bit too fast. Uh, let's change the work plan, set it to the top of the legs. Then we're going to drag a, a block over. We're going to set this to a sixteenth of an inch, which is 0 0.0625 inches. All right, then we're going to set this equal to 8 inches. 8 inches by 3 inches. And then we'll align this, and we're almost done. All right, so I've highlighted everything. Make sure it's centered. Make sure it's aligned to the edge. Perfect. Give it one look. That looks good to me. All right. I'm going to change our work plane back to normal. Everything is highlighted. Let's go ahead and add those. Okay, and let's make sure that our trusses are correctly located. So let's just lower them. And then we're going to go ahead and do some alignment. Select everything. Center it all. All right. Looks good to me. All right. Um, last thing to do is go ahead and... Group everything, make it uh, yellow. Hmm. This looks slightly off. That is off. Uh oh. All right. We are still off, so we need to fix this. So it helps to zoom in. All right. On group in the upper right hand corner. And we're just going to lower this. Zoom in again. Yep, it looks good now. And go ahead and regroup. Now it should be one overall beam bridge. All right, that's it. That's all we're doing this time. Uh, if you were to want to put a beam across, you could certainly do so, but you're not required to. How could you do that? Well, you take the work plane, press W, uh, and say click on the side of the bridge like this. Then you could use, uh, you could click and drag a box over uh, and put that on the bridge and add a cross member like that. We won't do that now though uh, for a basic truss bridge. This is pretty good. All right, uh, that's it. I'll see you guys in class.